Three, two, one, let's jam. All right, welcome to Legend of Tian Ding. Uh, assuming my video capture is gonna, you know, kick it. There we go. Oh, that's a beautiful little opening there. Nice, Neon Doctrine. Uh, so, not, that's not exactly true. That's not exactly true, is it? No. Okay, so welcome to Legend of Tian Ding. What we got here is an interesting take on a historical figure. So Tian Ding, if you don't know, because I sure as hell didn't, is basically like the Taiwanese Robin Hood. He made an appearance while Taiwan was under Japanese occupation, responsible for, you know, a lot of larceny, robbing people who were in power, you know, giving to your typical rob from the rich, give to the poor situation. And is even responsible for the, you know, assassination of a couple of officials, I think. Uh, I'll have to reread the wiki. Yeah, I had about 10 minutes to try and do research on this guy when I found out he was a real person and not just a uh, creation of the video game. Um, so this is an interesting little setup we got here. Looks like it's a guy drawing a Tianding manga back in the 80s. Or whatever the Taiwan version of manga is. I'm sure they use a different word for it. Especially since they're probably not huge fans of Japan over the whole occupation. I mean, I love a lot of what comes out of Japan, but they were seriously dicks for a while. Yeah, look at that. Cassette player. Is that an 8-track? I'm pretending I know what an 8-track is or that I could identify it. That Even that was before my time. Oh, we got your colored pencils. Um, pogs, I guess. I'm not sure. So anyway, this is sort of an action-adventure game. Uh, I think it's a, kind of an action platformer. We're going to find out, though. So let's get in there and see. The art style really drew my attention on this. Like, I love how they make this look like it's a comic, so... All right, let's get this started. Uh, yeah, new game. New game will do. Ooh. Tough choice. Gentleman Thief, play the entire story without much stress. Wanted Outlaw, more challenging levels and enemies, completely experience this thrilling adventure. Ooh, okay, first of all. I appreciate that they have an easier mode and they're not insulting you about it. This is not, you're a baby, go play the real mode. This is Gentleman Thief. You just want to know the story of Tian Ding. And that's perfectly okay. As for me, I do enjoy challenge in my games, um, at least until the next session when I immediately switch back to Gentleman Thief because I got my ass handed to me. But we'll go with Wanted Outlaw. That seems to be the main and intended experience. So let's go with that. Dao Cheng, 1909. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to stomp on that guy. Oh, that's awesome. So normally I would try to voice the subtitles, but since we had a Taiwanese speaker in the background, I didn't feel quite right doing it. Okay, so if they're going to have stuff I can voice, I will do it. I'm going to not try to do a Taiwanese accent. Um, my accent work is even more amateurish than my regular voice work. So I'm just going to kind of read along and do the best I can, all right? Uh, one sec. Okay. His story is known far and wide. He is the legend, Liao Tang Ding. Bye bye, huh? What do you think of the introduction? Not half bad, right? Bard? Oh, local youth. It was great! Master Wu, you say you know Liao Tiangding. Is that true? You'd better believe it. He used to come to the Qinghuang Temple to hide from the cops. I always covered for him. Really? Can you please introduce me to him? Uh, so, kind of a sad thing. Uh, Liao Tiangding, at least the real person, did not uh, end well. He ended up died, dying trapped in a cave. 
Um, I think I, the the details on the wiki were a little sparse, but m what I got was that he was kind of trapped in there by cops after an accomplice kind of colluded with the police, which sucks, but... You know, that's uh, kind of how it tends to go with Rebels. Look at the rickshaw. I love, the, I love this attention to detail. I love seeing what places might have looked like in the past, you know? Even if it is an artistic and stylized depiction. Sure thing, but... But what? He hasn't come around in quite some time. I'm not sure if I'll see him again. Huh. Oh. Scram if you can't pay rent. Please, Mr. Wang, let's discuss this. I'm like falling into accents anyway, which is not in my best interest. Mr. Wang, he's only a beggar. Please let him be. I don't give a rat's ass. He's taking up a spot, so he's got to pay. But, shut it. Get out of the way. Ooh, wow. Tough as... That's a big cane, man. A bum. Your rent. Pay up. He really doesn't look like he has... He doesn't look like he's renting anything. What could he possibly be renting? Mr. Wang really don't have any money. No money? I've eyed your brass amulet for some time now. Really? You got time to be doing that? This brass amulet? But this isn't worth anything. <laughs> Shut up and give it here. Wow. <clears throat> That's not even shiny brass. That's like dull, corroded brass. Unless somehow you found like the one magical bum in all Taiwan. Stop! <laughs> Who are you? How dare you speak to me that way? Hey Lin, don't get yourself in trouble. Wang, get your grubby hands off or... Or... Or what? Or Diao Tian Ding will teach you a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Liao Tian Ding, is this a joke? I haven't seen that schmuck in quite some time. Maybe he's already dead. It'd be even better if he shows his face here. I'll get to have my revenge. Ooh, what did he do? Hmm. And just how are you going to do that exactly? <laughs> I've thought about it for quite some time now. First, I'm going to break his legs. Let him feel what it's like being a cripple. Oh, did he break your leg? Not bad. What's next? And then I'll... Yeah! All right. Yep, he's a hero. You notice he's got a red badge on. Hey, Piggy Wang. Long time no see. <laughs> it's you. Wang will never forget this voice. It's the voice of the man who broke his legs on Shilin Street and robbed his vault years ago. Liao Tian Ding. Mm. Looks like you didn't learn your lesson last time. Mr. Liao, I, I didn't mean to... Oh, here's the cops. Break it up, break it up, what's the ruckus? Police, sir! It's the wanted fugitive Liao Tian Ding! Catch him! What? Liao Tian Ding? I'll be leaving this to you, sir! You, hurry up and report back to Captain Matsumoto and tell him we found Liao Tian Ding. Yes, sir! I love it, he says hi! That's very Japanese. Okay, move, attack with weapon. What do I have for weapon? What is my weapon? A knife, it looks like? Whoa! Okay, alright. Easy, easy, easy so far. Uh, ooh. Um, ooh, okay. Alright, that's not impossible, but that's a little annoying. You, you are the legendary Liao Tian Ding. I finally met you. Shh, be quiet. You don't want the cops coming this way, do you? What's your name? Call me Aileen. You had some balls back there, Aileen. That's what I'm talking about. You've got the true spirit of a Taiwanese man. Tian Ding, where have you been? We've been worried about you. Long story. I'll fill you in when I have time. The pressing matter at hand is to give that fat pig Wang a lesson he'll remember and get everyone's things back. Mr. Liao, Wang seems to be terrified of you. Do you know him? Mm -hmm. I gave him a good ass whooping a few years back. Never thought he would come back to Dado Chang. Oh, that... So just a reminder, I don't really know how these things are pronounced. I'm doing my best, but, you know, no disrespect intended, I swear. Wang owns Wang's Tea House. The teas he makes are not good at all, but he's excellent at sucking up to the Japanese. Given that guy was driving around in what could only be described as a rickshaw chariot, that tea house must be making... Fuck, man. So they let him run Iraku Market. Wang took advantage of this and raised the rent as he pleased. 
exploiting the poor people who worked there. Damn that devil. Hey, Lin, do you know where to find Wang's tea house? Of course I do. I'll take you there. Follow me, Mr. Liao. Tian Ding, wait. Give this book a look before you go. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh, okay. So this is just gonna... Oh, yeah, something I noticed, like, here's moving left and right. Here's moving slightly down left and right. So that might... I'm gonna have to uh, compensate for that. The calibration is a little off from where I like it. Jump. Oh, good, jump. Oh, I got a double jump! I get a double jump from the start? You're kidding me. Whoa. Oh, and there's spikes in this game. Let's find out what the spikes do. Okay, just checking. Didn't know if they were instant death or not. Double jump, beautiful. Any game that gives me a double jump off the bat... Yeah, I already learned how to crouch by accident. Any game that gives me a double jump right off the bat... Winner. Whee! You can dodge most obstacles and enemy attacks with RB. Okay. Oh, neat. Okay, alright, that's kind of cool. You glow blue when you dodge, huh? Dodge mid-air? Whoa. Oh, that's... Uh, okay. I feel like the iframes are shorter on that one. When you're near objects that you can grapple, toss spider wire to fly over objects. Okay. Like that. Wow! No! No! Oh, that, uh, that went poorly. That's neat, though, that it's uh, drawing the whole thing as if it's one of these comics. Hello? Okay, hang on. That's not fair. I hit the button that time. Okay. Ah! Okay. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier. All right, there we go, there we go. Attack with a default weapon, okay. Uh, this guy just looks like an ordinary woodcutter. Do I really need to attack him? Oh, oh well, I am Tian Ding. Whoops. Okay, when the enemy's health low, you can disarm to take their weapon. Ooh, Ooh I'll take that, dang. Okay, that's an awesome uh, little, that's an awesome mechanic. Hey dudes, how are you? Oh, ho, ho, nice. Discard the weapon I've taken. Do I want to do that? It does do that cool little flashy toss it behind me, so I'm okay with it. Okay, why are they decorating in spikes? Who decorates in spikes? I've said this. Ah! Breakfall? What does that mean? Oh, okay. Um, spikes? Okay, never mind. Eat buns to replenish your health. Pay attention to how many buns you've got left. Oh, boy. Okay. Nice. Use checkpoint to save your progress and to replenish your health and buns. Replenish your buns, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you watch those buns. Time your attack to deflect. Oh, I love doing that. Oh, this game has a lot going for it already. Enter a new area. Achievement unlocked. Hero arrives. Aye. Come back if you want to refresh her on the book's contents. Follow me, Mr. Liao. I shall... You ran off screen. Now, I no, now I'll never know where you are. Hmm. Yao, do you need my help? Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, apparently... Okay. Ooh, I want to talk to this dude. Good sir, do you have anything to spare? Uh, do I? Pret pretending to be charitable when you have nothing to give? Move along. I didn't know I was broke. Uncle Hei, or Ho. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'll need to try and look this up. Look up, uh pronunciations if I can. I sell the best herbal medicine. Want to give it a look? I guess not. Mr. Gao. Our pastry is wonderful. Come and try it. I'm, I'm at serious risk of making everybody sound like uh, George Takei, which is a bad move given that he's Japanese. Do you need fabric? You look like you could use some new clothes. Okay, is that just criticism? Look at this! Okay, this honest. Okay, this is a weird take, but this reminds me of the last time I was at uh, Hollywood Studios, formerly MGM Studios, where they would have these streets that seemed to disappear off in the distance. You couldn't actually go down them though, because it was just like cardboard cutouts. But you know, if you didn't look too hard, it really looked like it stretched off into infinity. That's a neat take. I like the way they designed that. How about you, Mr. Lin? What do you sell? Check out our dried foods and groceries. Everything you need can be found here. Have you got, you know, buns? I like buns. Do you ladies have buns? Oh, no, 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 I didn't say that. Sorry, man, I have no money. I just learned that I have no money. In fact, why am I talking to any of you guys? I have no money. 
Do you need sugar? What? Oh, no, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong tone for that. Do you need sugar, or are you looking for rice? Come on in. Rice and sugar could probably make a bun out of that eventually. Minato Cho, huh? Let's see, Aelin. Oh, look at the little kids! Mr. Liao, Minato Cho is up ahead. You'll find Wang's tea house there. Come on. Okay, I'm. Uh, I love the bicycles. We should be doing more of that in America. We just suck when it comes to transportation here. <clears throat> Alright, uh, boxes, thugs, more beggars. Um, the Kung Fu Master from Sifu. Let's see. Hey, Lin. Mr. Liao, that's Wing's tea house right there. That's a big ass tea house. Wow. Oh, look at the size. Not too shabby. All right, Aelin, you go on home. I'll take it from here. Oh, Mr. Liao, I almost forgot to tell you. There's something evil inside. You have got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Evil? How so? There's a rumor that Wang keeps a pig-headed monster in his basement. The monster is said to be taller than a house. Um, then how is it in the basement? Just thinking about it gives me chills. Oh? You ain't kidding. I got to see that thing with my own eyes. Be careful, Mr. Liao. I'm headed back. Now all that's left is to wait for the sun to go down. Wang, you just stay put here and don't move a muscle. Kind of funny that... Oh. Damn! Embarrassing me like that in public. Mr. Wang, all of the fake tea is labeled. Good! Now do me a favor. Go and get that thing ready. Liao Tianding will be here tonight. Are, are you sure? That thing almost destroyed the mansion last time. <laughs> mansion? It's nothing compared to the sweetness of revenge. That thing was made for today. I'll crush Liao Tianding tonight. I believe him. I think he has what it takes. And I don't think we're the... Oh. <laughs> Liao Tianding returns to Dalo... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna... Yeah, this goes too fast for me to properly uh, voice act. No, he's a big fry. <laughs> Chapter 1, Wang's Tea House Blur... blur, 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 blur. Uh, make sure we cut that out of the edit. That's a neat way to do a loading screen. Very neat. Oh, man, I put my robot head right in front of that. Dang. Okay, hang on. Let me adjust him just a little. Here, come here, buddy. Come here. Up, up, up just a bit. There you go. Right up there. That should be fine. Yep, you hover right there. Good boy. Excellent. Come on back. There we go. Okay. Time to do this. That is such a big deal. Keep your eyes peeled and watch every entrance. We will catch the Tian Ding tonight. Yes, sir! Hmm. Stop stuffing yourself, Lioka. Go patrol the second floor. Uh, hi. Yes, Matsumoto Senpai. Senpai? Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, right, because they are <laughs> Japanese, right? <laughs> Captain Mustache, you are as loud as ever. Looks like that pig got Copper to work as his lackey. Guess walking in through the front door is out of the question. Was it in the question? Mm. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I can get in through the sewer. I remember that sewer maintenance entrance is up ahead. Maybe Tubi is still the gatekeeper. Okay, so sewer entrance. Hello, I would like some tea. I am just ordinary tea patron. Thank you. Palm trees. Taiwan looks very pretty. <laughs> Boo Tubi. Hey, bud. Ah, oh, ouch. Sewer worker, Tubi. Hey, Tubi. How have you been? What are you doing on the ground? Oh, Liao, it's you. What are you doing back in Dado Chang? A strange man beat me and took away my keys. <laughs> You're kidding me. I was about to ask if I could borrow them. Uh. Okay, not sure who this dude is. Ah! Okay. There! That's the fellow who snatched my keys. Oh. No worries, I'll get them back for you. Please, I'm counting on you. You've got to be careful. That man knows how to fight. 
Okay, chase the stranger, retrieve the keys. I can do that. Right? Yeah. So who is this dude? What? Hey you, what's with take Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> hey you, what's with taking people's keys for fun? Return them. Oh, not for fun. Why did I add that in? Whoa! Huh? This move. The soaring dragon kick. M master! Hmm. Huh. You haven't forgotten your master. School of Heavenly Shadow Master. Zeng Gu Okay. Go Ying, maybe? Zeng Go Ying? I'm gonna try that. Master, why are you here? Actually, you know, this is a good time to say, if anybody knows better pronunciations for these, um, let me know. I'm happy to incorporate them. I told you to stay in the mountains, but you keep running off. There's nothing to do in the mountains. Nothing to do in the mountains? That's because you don't have any discipline. Take this manual and learn from it. This manual? A powerful upward kick. The kick's momentum will lift you upward. Consumes one stamina. Listen, there are three more secret manuals in the sewer. Find them and learn what they have to teach. I'll find you to test your progress when you've learned the moves from all four manuals. Yes, master. As for the keys to the sewer, come up and get them yourself. Remember, find the other three manuals. Well, looks like I got to get up there and grab the keys. All right, Soaring Dragon. Oh, what? I was... Well, at least I know how to do the Soaring Dragon. That's not hard. Yeah, the calibration is just a little wonky for my taste. Like, I gotta remember to point slightly up as I go as I go right. But, I mean, that's not necessarily the game. That could just as easily be something going on with my controller. I love that we're literally on top of his tea house now. Finally, the keys. I got to get back to Tubi and get in the sewer. <laughs> sounds so weird. Whee! So how much, how quickly does stamina recover? Looks like pretty quick. Although I'm out of combat, so that might have something to do with it. Tubi, I got the keys. Thank God, thank you, Liao. I'll open the gate for you. It's open now. Watch yourself. Nowadays there are many vagrants in the sewer. Be careful down there. What's that, yeah? Thanks for the warning. I'll watch out for them. I wonder... This one, you know, standard video game protocol. If the game says you can't go any further left, try to go left. <clears throat> ah, some tea. Oh, this might be a good time to check. How quick does that... Res oh, that actually re replenishes pretty quick. I was thinking we were in a... We had, like, accidentally wandered into a Dark Souls, but I think we're alright. Let's save here. And, uh, ooh, the art is beautiful here. Look at this hand-drawn look. This is so pretty. And the slight animations and the lighting. I love this. Amazing, amazing. See, this is what we could have happened if 3D modeling hadn't taken over, you know? Uh, oh, look, look, a vagrant who appears to be very hostile. What's happening? robbed him, apparently. I just robbed him again. Oh, this is kind of cool. Wow, for a vagrant, he had a lot of money on him. How weird. Can I... Anything hidden up here? Oh, come on. Really? Nothing? Oh, I don't have... Now, that's sort of funny. In the training, I swear I had a knife of some kind, but I have a club now. Which feels a little better for, uh, you know... Wait, what was the dodge button? Hang on. I want to try and dodge. Must money. I was going to try and toss him onto the spikes, but it didn't quite work. So now I have money. I can... What the hell are they peeing up there? Okay, hang on. There we go. Alright, I didn't have to dodge for a while, so I sort of forgot how to do it. Ooh, did I just... I think I just stole his weapon. But now I don't see it. I think I may have also drowned him. Which, you know, the poor Vagrant, that's, you know, 
just gonna be better for him, I think. This is cool. I love this throw mechanic, by the way. Okay, onto spikes. No, onto the spikes. Okay, hold on. Come here. Yes! That's all I wanted to do. Throw him on the spikes. I know I shouldn't treat the homeless so poorly. I'm really upset about that. Um, I'm usually a fairly, you know, in favor of charity, charity and support, and, you know, having to be forced to beat up all these poor vagrants is really tough. Dagger combo attack. Oh! Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So we knock him up in the air, and then we just go boom, boom, boom. Uh. Huh. This is sort of odd. Um, the combo attack is not working. Let me see. Huh. Maybe it's because I changed... Oh, I did change weapons. I stole one of their weapons. Uh, maybe that's why it's not working? No, I have the dagger, though. Well, I think it's a dagger. It looks a little big for a dagger, if I'm being real. Yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, unclear on this one. Hmm. Uh, either way, it just doesn't seem to... Oh! That was such a... Ugh. I thought it was going to fall, but apparently it's just going to spew toxins at me. Alright, um, which way is the wrong way to go? This guy looked wrong enough. Um, I'm just really kind of sadistic at heart. That's why I toss them into things. Alright, so I can't go this way, which means this is the only way out. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 whoo! <laughs> I'm so... Okay. Wrong button! I am... Oh, man. I'm, I'm just gonna straight up die here. I died. Okay, alright. So, the problem is dodge is RB and uh, swing is LB, and I keep forgetting that fact. Okay. Ready? There we go. In you go. The nice thing is I still get paid, too. Um, that looks like a secret. Look at that, it's a secret. But I can't seem to reach it yet. Alright, I'm gonna make one more try. Nope. That's my, that's the highest I can get. If I can't get it there, I must need something else. Or do I? Okay, I'm going to make a decision I'll regret. I do that sometimes. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay. I thought maybe I could dash, but it's not really a dash so much as a mid-air dodge that just kind of gives me a second or two of iframe. Not as useful as I'd like. Can't look down. Can I open that chest? Is there a good reason I can't open that chest? Oh, oh, I forgot I had buns. That's very helpful. Hmm. Whoops, I just tossed the weapon away. I don't know, I was looking for a way to do it. Oh, wait. I'd... Okay, I bet the reason that combo didn't work is because I had a short sword instead of whatever this is, instead of a dagger. A frontal flying kick that will catch your enemies off guard. Okay, let me try it. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, but if I have this, then I also have an idea. Hang on. Okay, so if I do jump, double jump, kick, and then over. And I think that'll get us up to the chest. Or whatever that treasure is. Again, why can't I open this treasure? Am I mistaken in what that is? Miss that up. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get better at this. All right. Jump. Double jump. High kick. And... Oh, no. But I think that's it. I think that's how I do it. Okay. Let the stamina return. 
Yes! That was all I needed. Look at that thing! Why to interact? What did I get? Money and a 100 cent tiger stamp. Let me take a look. I think I've got some abilities here that I'm not f using. Um, fighting arts. I have these. Locked the map. Collectibles. Ah. So does this just automatically give me stuff? Do I have to equip anything? It kind of looks like it. Poster printed in 1926 by the Japanese government promoting its police system. They always think that that'll work, don't they? Police Buddha print. That's like... Actually, I guess I can't say that's sacrilegious. I'm not part of that religion. I don't know how they would view it. Taiwanese habit of wearing wooden geta traced back to the Qing dynasty. Geta were possible footwear in Japan during the colonial period. Became a fixture of daily life. Um, I saw that when watching uh, Zombieland Saga and a few other places. I always kind of assumed they were to try and keep you out of the mud, maybe? Stamp issued by the Republic of Formosa in 1895. Okay. Ah. This book is Ino Kanori's best known work. Kanori was a Japanese anthropologist known for his studies of Taiwanese aboriginals. Kanori started working on the book in 1906 and finished in 1925 just before his death. That's a long time. 19 years. The book included Kanori's studies of the people and culture of Taiwan during the Dutch Formosa era, the rule of Kochinga, the Qing dynasty, and the early Japanese colonial period. The book is a cultural encyclopedia for understanding Taiwan. You know, it's no wonder that... You know, how do I describe this? Like, I really feel for the Taiwanese people. They have been under so many different rules besides their own. It kind of reminds me of Poland in a way. Like, just constantly trying to maintain their own independence in a world that where everybody wants to control them. Can I really not open this? Okay, fine. I won't open it. No, you look better in green. Did I just not pull this? Evidently. Okay, uh, interact. What does this mean? Okay, I don't know what it means, but I bet we're gonna find out. Huh. It seemed to be... Oh! Wait. Whoa! Can I have your gun? I can have your gun! This just became a third person, a uh, second per What would I call this? Can I not? I was hoping I could throw people in down the people, apparently. Look at that! Let's just shoot everybody. I don't know, the, huh. The combos have not really felt like they've been working. Actually, this combo worked perfectly, I'm wrong. Um, but the previous combo, I still think it's because I didn't have a dagger equipped. Fuck me. Okay, so I guess it does expect me to go back. Let me have another button. You're back, huh? Um, first give me your club and then go into the green. Good job. God, the vagrancy problem in this place is just awful. What the hell are the Japanese doing? I hope I get an achievement for doing all of that because I deserve one. Okay, now we're going to enter the... Well, yeah, okay. Hi. Whoa! That's a lot bigger hit. Wow, these guys actually do some serious damage, don't they? I'm, I like your sword better in my hands, actually. Wow, they do some serious damage. I did not realize because I hadn't really gotten hit yet. Whoa. Okay. Green P, green radioactive P, Hulk P. Um, it's sort of, it is a little sad how they like reach for help first. I always feel a little bad about that. 
Just a little bit. I'm kind of soft-hearted when it comes to video game NPCs and, uh, you know, enemies. Undertale did that to me. I used to just slaughter enemies without a thought, and now I can't help but think, what if they have a family? Uh-oh. I want that axe. Whoa, look at this thing. That's brutal. Whoops. Oh, this guy might kill me. This might be the first one to kill me. But he'll have a harder time without his axe. Alright, more treasure. It's kind of like a save point, actually. Tea of Taiwan. Plus two axe uses, huh? Oh, I see. This is, like, it's a heavy weapon. But it deals a lot of damage. Hey, look at that. Ask and ye shall receive. It's sad how full of vagrants this place is, though. Badge-wearing, axe-wielding vagrants. And him. I kind of want that. Staffs are always fun. Like, if a video game has... Wow! Damn it. Ah, this was so badly timed. <laughs> so badly timed. I did so badly that... Whoa! I don't know that I like that I have to take his weapon, though. I would have liked to keep the staff and just keep fighting him with that. Hi. Were you taunting me? Were you seriously taunting me? Like, yeah, it's good to... Like, at the very least, though... Whoa! What was that? A rock? Oh, look at that. You see that? <laughs> throw rocks at them. Literally throw rocks at them. And now give me that so I can beat you up the rest of the way. This is cool. This is cool. I like that. I do kind of black soybean wine. I do feel that it would be nice to be able to just keep whatever weapon I wanted and still use my tangle ability, but... I get the risk-reward thing. You know, you might actually prefer to keep the weapon you have. And it's always going to be a better bet, I think, to disarm your opponents than to lead them armed. So, you know, no reason not to do that. Oh, these are stable. That is not. Who even built this thing? Oh, right, the... To be told us. It was the uh, homeless people down here. Wait, what am I doing up here? Getting that, I guess. Whoa. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Dang it. Okay. Hang on. I couldn't see it. I wasn't sure what to do. I was expecting a... What was it? Um, I was expecting a spider line hook. Not what I actually got. And I was too slow for that one, too. But I got buns, so no big deal. Whoop! Hey! Caught it that time. Can I finish you off? Thank you. I like that I can use the environment for kills, though. That's, uh, that's very helpful, you know? Oh! One of the uh, officiate vagrants. Whoop! I wasn't sure if I was done. Didn't want to go down yet. The combat's cool. I'm liking it. Even if I do kind of get stuck with weapons I don't particularly want sometimes. Although, I guess I can discard them. But, you know, a weapon you don't want is still probably better than a weapon... You know, no weapon at all. What's in here? We're gonna have to fight like the king of the vagrants down here. Which by all rights should be us. Oh, hell! That hit like a truck. Oh, that hit like... Shit. <laughs> Alright, hang on. I need lunch. Ugh, only got one bun left. Why am I messing that up? It's asking me to press two buttons in quick succession. That is just too much to ask for me. Bye. Okay. 
easier done than said, huh? In we go. Spike walls. You know, the trouble with these trap things is when they're automated like this, it makes you think, how do they get around in them, right? Like, if I'm having trouble with all my acrobatic abilities, how do they manage it? Kind of like in uh, Resident Evil 1, when you're going through a mansion, which is, like, actually the housing for, you know, some... Damn it. Not, like, evil scientists. Like, the scientists weren't necessarily evil, but they were working on bioweapons. Oh, I like that it X's it out once you found the treasure, so you know not to try to come back again. But, like, how on earth do they get to work every day? It's like, to get to the office, you need six green gems, you need to dodge a boulder, and somebody left a giant spider in the coffee break room, you know? It's like, how does this, how is this functional? Like, it's protective. Yes, it's definitely a good defense. But is it, ooh. That has boss room written all over it. Let's go see. Hmm. Dang it, dodge. Come on, Cecil, dodge. You've dodged before. You know how to do it. I swear I've dodged before. Okay, let me stop here for a minute. Whoa! Boy. Like I know I've dodged before. I swear I have. I like how they just sort of take uh, robbery as a game mechanic here, you know? Oh, Molotovs! Guess who wants Molotovs? Me. Definitely want Molotovs, and I want lunch. Lunch is good. How do you how do you feel about Molotovs? Whoa, okay, what's this mean? Ooh, dodge no. So no dodging. No dodging. Oh. Well then what was I supposed to do? What what exactly okay, hang on. So normally when I see a red, uh, my instinct from lots of games, uh Sifu. God of War, when you see red, that actually means to dodge. It, it, but those are also games that have a block mechanic. So normally you would block, but in a red case, you dodge. That's not going to be the case here, I guess. I'm going to need that axe. And I'm going to need you to step out for a little while, okay? i got to deal with your pole friend here. That was fun. Whoa! Gotta be real careful with that axe. But the axe is just so slow. It hits heavy, but it's slow. You wanna do your twirly thing? I wanna try and dodge it. Can you do it? No? Okay. Okay. Kinda wanna launch, yeah. Whoa! Oh, this is... Okay, so he definitely has... He has boss look to him. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know he could yell at me. Oh, I, I did know he could hit me with an axe. That part I knew. Uh, hang on. I don't have a weapon anymore. No dodging? Dodging is like ideal here. I just gotta dodge through him, not away from him. Ramane received. Ooh, nice. Okay, so what does that get me? Gets me a lot of weird things in this game. Ramane. I love Ramane, by the way. Well, it's okay. Carbonated drink popular during the Japanese colonial period. I mean, they still make it today. I wonder if they just don't have it in Taiwan because of the colonialism. Wasn't sure if I could jump down there. I can't. All this for some tea. Oh. Okay, hang on. Oh, dang. As Master Ugwe says, one often meets his destiny on the road he seeks to avoid it. Uh... Yeah, that part I kind of figured out on my own. Can I not get in there? Is this the way to the tea house? It's 
promising. More buns, love buns. Can I open this? I don't quite get the chests. Some of them you can open, some you can't. Ah! Focus all your strength on your fist and throw a punch in one swift motion. Enemies hit by this attack will fly off like cannonballs. The one inch punch. And just press B. Okay, no forward B, just B. And it takes a second, okay. On the upside, triple buns. Might as well eat one now since I'm already low on health. Well, not low on health, but lower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> New favorite weapon. <laughs> I am the Hulk. Holy shit. Hulk smash! Oh, got ding smash. Nope, nope, you can't do it. And you should... Oh, whoops. Okay, that was my bad. Look at that. I kind of wish I understood those characters, although I'm betting they mean something like ow. Milk caps, plus 1% from buns. Alright, yay. More saving. I feel like I must be doing pretty well. If you arrive at the save point and you don't need that much restored, you must be doing okay, right? Alright, so hi. Yeah, I prefer doing that now. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, I mean, look how useful that is. Two of you in one punch. I wonder how many I could line up. Ah! Crap. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. No, this isn't the script. But hey. Another thing. Hi. Sorry about that. Nobody deserves to die in P. Uh, let's roll. Right. Cow Ling Liquor Label. Love it. I don't really drink myself, I'm not, not a big fan of the taste, but, you know, if, uh, Kyung Ding wants to drink, awesome. Hi. Whoa, what? Oh, wrong button. No, I get it, I get it, hi. Whoa, crap, he's too big. Not too big for that, though. Hi. I like that the officer there just saw this vagrant fly out of the green goo. With me on the other side, it's just like, oh, well, that's weird. That is so fun. That's so incredibly fun. I absolutely adore it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, oh, we did lose a lot there, but that's because we kept underestimating the axe man. There's that little bit of me that's like, is that a, is, is that a secret? Well, we just saved, so there's no reason we can't look. It's not a secret, guys. Is it? No, it's not a secret. Okay. Not a secret. That's alright. Not everything has to be a secret. But I do feel pretty awesome when it is. <laughs> and that serves double duty, because it also breaks these pots for me. Um... I mean, anybody who knows me knows I love mobility mechanics. I should have grabbed. Ooh, wait. Hang on. How do I break this? It's got to be a way. Oh, maybe we'll learn it in here. Yes. Yep, there it is. Focus your inner chi on your heel and bring your foot down like an axe. This move deals tremendous damage to your opponent, and the kick can even destroy obstacles blocking your way. It's a ground pound. Let's -a go. <laughs> to attack enemy with ground stomp. He didn't like it. Oh, I wonder if you do more damage when you're high up. Uh, honestly, the punch is still better. Whoop. Whoop, what's going on? Oh, I'm out of stamina, that's why. <laughs> that's fun. I'm actually forgetting to steal their weapons. 
And now I got rocks. Witness the power of rocks, which do... Well, not a lot of damage, but... Don't throw shit at me. Hi. Ah, all the taws. Now I have a different problem. So I guess the uh, super punch is good, but it's really only great if you've got something to punch them into. If you lack that, then it's really only mediocre. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time, dude. Sorry. Um, can you help me back up? I don't know. It's like I don't remember how I got there. Uh, uh this can't this goes a little to the right. I want to just make sure. Yep, nothing there. Okay, back in. Have we really not made it to the tea house yet? This is a long road to the tea house. Just saying. Oh, backhanded. Like, they're kind of mini-bosses, but they fall pretty easily overall. Uh, you're supposed to open the gate. You didn't do that. I need the gate open. Crap, am I going to have to fight him again? Maybe so, maybe so. Didn't I already find all the manuals? Whoa. Uh, let me go this way. This way looks nicer. It, it is nicer. Look at that. Okay, before I go up those ladders, which who knows might be the next area of the game, let's see what's actually up here. Another ladder. Oh, but a different kind of ladder. Huh. This must be like the processing area or something. This is where all the pee goes in. Yuck. Alright, so would it be available now? Yes, now it is. And that's all I had to do to get into the treasure room, not even to get the treasure itself. This is a bit more convoluted. I could use a map. I'm going to take a quick look down here. Is there anything else down here? No. Alright, nothing else to find in there. Now where am I? Oh, here we go. Are these both purples? One of them looks like- Whoa, hell! Didn't even see you. I'm gonna need those Molotovs, sorry. I feel like that's gonna help me out a bit. Alright, Molotovs don't last that long. I guess I shouldn't have expected them to, though. Need that axe for a minute, thank you. And that axe, for that matter. And that axe, actually. We're gonna need a lot of axes around here. It's a very important thing. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Molotov number two. Whoops. <laughs> I love when they try to taunt you first. Okay, that was actually cool. The Molotov worked out real well. I didn't. I wasn't quick enough to see what it just gave me. So what do we got in here? Ah, okay, and this comes right back around to the previous spot. Good. And I think I handled myself well in that fight. I really do. I don't actually like the axe. I'm much more of a fast player than I am a strong player. I don't really enjoy, you know... Uh, ooh. I see. No, no, hang on, hang on. There we go, that's what I was looking for. I saw the shadows. I saw the shadows on the wall. And the shadow up there. 
Okay, so I gotta down break through that. The grappling hook, you know, lacks a bit of control, but, you know, it definitely serves its purpose. What's over here? Can I go in that door? No? I have been in the sewers for a damn long time now. 50 cent stamp tiger, huh? Or tiger stamp, I guess is more likely. Alright, hi dude. Oh, why do I not... Woo! I need to remember to hit them and take their weapon. And not jump into the spikes. Spikes are for enemies, not for me. Eat a bot. Eat another bot. Buns are like the Dunkin' Donuts of early Taiwan. I wonder if this was made by anybody in Taiwan, if this was like a Taiwanese game. Dang it! Yeah, what do you think now, huh? That was close. There's a lot of hidden secrets in here, and <laughs> it's sort of funny. I like hidden secrets that are easy to find. Like, I'd prefer to do a weird challenge. Oh! Yeah, like, I'd prefer to do a difficult challenge and find my way in than to uh, just sort of be poking at walls forever, a la, you know, early do. I didn't even see you show up. When did you get here? Oh, somehow I went in the wrong side. Oh, damn. Hang on. Whoa. This place is full. Oh, this is not going well for me at all. Can I get a bun out? Yes! And now it's fire time. Eat the flames. While I yeet the flames. Oh boy, that's a uh, super strong one, huh? Oops. Guy, I'm gonna need your Molotovs. Oh, come on. More? This is insane. Why are we, uh... Oh, these are Molotovs! They're rocks! I have made a critical error. Oh. Alright, one more go. Wait, how? what time is it? No, one more go. Alright, you, give me that axe. Don't hit me when I'm behind you. That's bad form. And don't hit me at all. Also bad form. I can't avoid, like, I'm not sure if I can do some of these things. Oh, how do I describe this? Like, when I'm in an animation, I don't know if I can actually dodge away from things. Alright. Fun? Oh, hi. Actually, I'll take that stick. I like sticks. Yes, I'm hitting them when they're behind me. I know it's bad form. You don't have to tell me. Okay, that went pretty well, though. I will say, you know, as hard a time as I was slightly having, the combat system here is awesome. This is great. It's intuitive, even if I am occasionally missing stupid things. Don't dodge my ass. Dodging is like the ideal way to deal with these people. I'm gonna need that, because I think I'm gonna need an extra suit. Like, I see no way to really deal with these guys except dodging, to be honest. Like, as long as you're behind... Oh, dang. 
Okay, so that didn't quite work. Have I got I'm out of buns. Unfortunately, he's out of health. And that makes me the winner, gentlemen. And it only took me one death. And you know what's funny is, uh, even if I, it takes me more than one death, it is canonical that Liao Tian Ding did not die here, so technically, I'm the one doing it wrong for dying, not, you know, the game for bringing me back to life. I'm getting better at that. I'm getting better at the grappling. Wang's Tea House, we finally made it! This took forever. I've been at this for almost an hour now. Looks like this is the place. Oh, am I just diving right in here? Okay. I thought I was going to have to fight through. Akai, have you changed the labels for all of the fake tea? Is this really okay? The fake tea could make people sick. Look, Akai, this isn't this business putting food on your table. Don't ask too many questions. What's it like? Piggy Wang, looks like I've underestimated you. Not only are you exploiting the poor and raising the rent as you please, but now you're selling fake tea. Mm. Liao Tian Ding, my new vault is fully upgraded. And you've just offered... What? What does he offer? Did I miss something there? Okay, that was pretty funny. Okay, so dodge out of the way of that. That is kind of funny, actually. Let's get out of the way. And I can dodge through him, too, which is pretty cool. What did I just steal from him? Hope it's money. What? What is happening? Whoa, whoa. Oh, this is fun. Dodging bullets and rickshaws. Oh, I have a gun. And he has a gun. Oh. Whoa. Ah. Wait, I could probably deflect those, can't I? Just one more bit of realism, you know? <laughs> As if I have ever given a damn about realism. Dang. I didn't anticipate it. Getting better at it, though. Oh. <sighs> Keep missing. Come on back. Ah, I tried to... Okay, I somehow rolled through it. That was weird. Oh, I got a bun back. <laughs> so, see, it feels a bit sort of... Whoa! What? What? Okay, hang on. We're, uh... Well, I guess this is the Legend of the Monster they were talking about. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so it's got a grenade launcher. Which, you know, he's immune to, of course. Ow. I'm not immune to that, unfortunately. This poor guy! Like, look at this. He's like... It's like he has to be involved in this whole process, even to the point of being a part of this dude's boss fight. Like, come on. What was that all about? Why'd you do that? Ha! Didn't see that coming, did ya? Give me... Ah, uh, was that it? Am I dead? Yeah, I am. That didn't... Okay, that part didn't feel all that fair because I was, like, mid steel animation when it hit me. I don't know if that's, like, on me to solve, though, you know? Um, no? Okay. Alright, let's go... What? Looks like this is the place. We did this already, right? 
Yeah, okay, so we're gonna skip and go right to the boss fight. Ooh. Come on, dude. On with it. I think that we're allowed to shoot him. <laughs> yep, not that easy. Oh, I think if I'm on full health, I get to shoot him. That's how it works. That's a neat way to make that work. What I get from it. More health. More health, thank you. Ooh, this is a lot to dodge at once. Yeah, I see. So if I've got full buns, then what I steal from him will be... Yeah, what I steal from him will be the gun, if I've got full buns. Gotta keep my eye on everything here. I think that's it, though. Yeah, there we go. Bye-bye, buddy. Damn you, Liao Tanding! Die! Liao Tanding turned his body and kicked the gold cannon back at the golden statue. Physically impossible. The cannon's ball struck the chest of the statue, and the force propelling the ball ignited the gunpowder magazine inside. In the blink of an eye, flames devoured the underground vault, with the tea house soon to follow. No! No, don't kill me! Why would I kill a wretch like you? I pity you. Hey. Oh, but he took the bronze am or brass amulet back. Good on you, man. I'll retrieve the things you took from the people. Akai, take your boss and save him from the fire. This place is about to come down. Wang, I hope you learned your lesson. People like him don't tend to learn lessons, realistically. Boss, come on, let's go. Curses! Just when Akai was about to open the door, a shadowy figure pushed it open. You, you! Oh, useless trash. I don't think Wang is gonna have time to learn his lesson, folks. Minato Cho, night. Whoa! Wow, that really did come down. Oh, poor Akai. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Yo, Danding! <laughs> it's been a while, Captain Mustache. I mean, okay, I get that he has a mustache, but he doesn't have much of a mustache. Captain Mustache, my name is Captain Matsumoto. <laughs> I'll chat with you some other day. See you later, Captain Mustache. Oh. 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 Problemo. <laughs> Leo Danding, you're not going anywhere this time. Get him, boys! Come and get me if you have what it takes. Oh, oh. bomb bomb. Bomb bomb! Whoa, what's going on? Who threw the smoke bomb? Eh? What's with the smoke? Hey, come with me. Ah, thank you. Good on you, whoever you guys are. Aileen, what are you doing here? I, I'm here to help. Let's get out of here. Right. Give to the beggar on the side of the road. I got so much money, I can do this now. Aelin, this is what Oink Wang took from the people. Do me a favor and return the items to their owners. Leave it to me, Mr. Liao. A few of the beggars have gone some days without food. Can you help them? Okay. Just okay, not leave it to me or awesome. What time are you? Okay, so, uh, hmm. Hello, sir. I am sorry that I didn't have money last time. I do now. Good sir, do you have anything to spare? 
I do. How much did I pay him? 300 sen, or yen. Okay. You kind soul, this is for you. Thanks, what'd you give me? Uh, uh smoke powder, huh? All of the, all of the items were returned to their rightful owners. I didn't see the old man who had his brass amulet taken by Wang. Keep the brass am- What are you doing on the ceiling? Keep the brass amulet, it's yours. It's the old man! Young man, you're quite fearless. That am amulet suits you. However, I warn you, that brass amulet has the power to make you rich, but it can also cut short your life. All depends on your actions. I was going to say, it doesn't seem to have cut your life short. Oh? That powerful? All right, I'll take it then. Thank you for the gift. Hey, <laughs> young man. Get out of here with your ghost stories. Master Wu, take a look. Can you tell me the history of this amulet? Hmm, eh... Huh. So, can you tell what it is or not? This amulet looks at least a hundred years old. But I can't tell what's so significant about it. Hmm, I'll ask someone else then. Mr. Liao, what are you going to do if, like the beggar said, this amulet can make you rich? I'll build a big building. It'll be a new market for everyone, and we won't charge rent. What do you think? I love the aspiration, but, you know, economically that'll never work. You'll need to have some kind of investment in order to keep things running. That'd be amazing! Only the heroic outlaw Liao Tianding can be this kind. Eh? You're the person who tossed the smoke bomb. Oh, that voice didn't fit him at all. 28 Mansions Apprentice, Ching Feng. Yes, my name is Ching Feng, and I'm a member of the 28 Mansions. Nice to meet you. 28 Mansions? Ching Feng? What is it? Do you know him? Mr. Liao, you never heard of them? 28 Mansions is one of the upstart rebel groups fighting against the Japanese. I heard they got some capable people in their ranks. Especially their leader, Master Peng. They say he's got magical powers that can summon gods from the heavens. Ching Feng here, Master Peng's head disciple, is a formidable martial artist as well. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> the people on the streets give us too much credit. Liao, why don't you come to Zhongyi Temple for a visit? I think you and my master will enjoy each other's company. Take that brass amulet you got. You can ask my master about it. He's knowledgeable and wise, so he might have some idea of its history. Sounds good. Where's Zhongye Temple? It's in Zhoji Village. Zhoji Village? I know where that is, right across the river. Mr. Liao, I can take you tomorrow. We'll be expecting you then, Liao. It's late. I shall take my leave. See you then. All right, Mr. Liao. I need to go home and get some sleep, too. Let's meet up at Chenghuang Temple and I'll take you to Zhoji Village. Oh. Okay, go home and rest. Liao, stay overnight at Chenghuang Temple tonight, and tell me about all the interesting things you got up to while you were gone. Bubun day. Sure thing, let's go. I gotta wonder what the Japanese feel about this game, given that they were the aggressors in this situation. Horai Cho. There's the Japanese flag on everything. Well, I can't quite tell what that is, but it looks like bad news. I'm guessing the Japanese are not happy that Wang's tea house fell. Bagera! You set up an ambush at Wang's house and you still let him slip away? I'm sorry. You can't even catch a petty thief? Matsumoto, you better stop doing your job. Yes, yes, sir. Right, sir. Liao Tianding might have gotten away, but we solved the Dadao Chung fake tea case. Wang was behind the distribution of fake tea. All right, all right, that's enough. Dealing with the Taiwan colony scum makes my head ache. But I'm about to get out of this hellhole soon. <laughs> oh? <laughs> the Governor General is sending me back to mainland Japan to prepare for the five-year plan. I can finally escape these colony lowlives for a while. <laughs> While I'm gone, Mr. Shimada from the Special Higher Police will take over as chief. Special, special Higher Police? Yes, the Special Higher Police Division that you wanted to join. Could this be my chance? Excuse me, apologies for interrupting. What? Whoa, that's a lot of crates. 
Good. He's right on time. Uh, Shimada Yunoshin. Hmm. I can't tell for sure because he was in silhouette, but I think this might be the guy who shot Wang. Taking so long to move all my things. The cops in this force lack discipline. Mr. Shimada, it's good to see you. I... Please, Otsu-senpai, let's save the pleasantry. Excuse my bluntness, but hurry and pack your things. I start working here tomorrow. Arrogant prick. <laughs> you never changed, Mr. Shimada. You're as efficient as ever. This is Captain Matsumoto, the commander of the first task team. I'm Matsumoto Yutsui. Nice to meet you. Matsumoto, you can ask Mr. Shimada how to transfer to the Special Higher Police Division. Oh, you want to join our division? Y yes, sir. We do have plans to expand our numbers. If you do well, I'll consider recommending you. <laughs> but I heard you couldn't even handle a small-time thief. Yeah. yeah, you're on the wrong side of the game if you want to be impressing anybody. Mmm, this minced pork rice is delicious. But what's taking Senpai so long? Ah, there he is. Special Higher Police Division. Matsumoto Senpai, wait for me. Senpai! Uh, Matsumoto Senpai, wait for me. Ioka, finally our chance is here. I can already see myself sitting in the Special Higher Police Division office. Why are they all wearing white? The Division Chief wasn't wearing white. Are you talking about the elite Special Higher Police Division? Yes. The most elite police unit in the country. The dream of every policeman. That's the unit I've wanted to join ever since I became a cop. Yo. We got to work hard to prove our worth to Chief Shimada and earn that recommendation. Uh, hi. Yes, Matsumoto-senpai. Good. Hmm. What's wrong, senpai? Shimada Yunoshin. That name sounds familiar. I wonder if he's like an underworld thug or something. Somewhere in Taipei Prefecture. Did you get the plaque? Wang screwed up again. A thief named Liao Tianding took the plaque from him. That must be the amulet. That good for nothing! Don't you worry. I've formulated a plan. What's your plan? That's your plan? All you said was whisper, whisper, whisper. In case anybody likes uh, Red vs. Blue. Poor liked it before Rooster Teeth went off the deep end. <laughs> good. Do it like you said. wonder who these guys are. They've got so few details on them. Loading screens. I'm guessing this is like a radio show that the artist or the author is reading or listening to as he writes it. Or something like that. A plan of the darkest nature. Alright, cool. Alright, so I think that's going to be where we draw it today. Um, this is neat. I really enjoy this game. The combat is great. The graphics and art style are beautiful. The story is interesting and compelling. And as a big history buff, I really love seeing this stuff about, uh, you know, colonial period Taiwan. And, uh, man, it sounds like Taiwan has really had it rough with the colonization. That's always tough, I think, for a small island sometimes. As I understand it, Japan was, like, under threat of colonization from China multiple times as well. But, well, really cool. Loving this game, and I can't wait to see more. Um, Wang is out of the way. I was surprised that that was the first boss. I've seen that boss in the trailer a few times, and I was also surprised it was kind of easy. Like, only took two tries. Still, you know, I mean, it's sort of funny that I had to select the harder difficulty, but we are just kind of breezing through it. That said, um, good game. So far, this is a very good game. I don't, I don't knock the difficulty against it at all. This is very good, and I can't wait to keep playing more. Um, and that's what we'll do soon. All right, so take care, everybody. Um, please leave any comments if you 
enjoy the show, please like and subscribe. If you want to support me in a more financial way, I have no means of you doing that. So uh, just like and subscribe. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care. Good day. Good game. Where the hell is the... Where the hell is the record button?